Okay. I am I am excited. So we uh we have cleaned up the crime scene where previously there were bodies everywhere and everything was uh was a disaster. I've cleaned it all up and uh, I used this fish barrel to uh to conceal my crime. So I'm not proud of it, but here are the former inhabitants of the uh of the wave temple. Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. We'll uh, we'll leave the one who is having the funeral here. Uh, it turns out that she was her quest is related to the submersible that we use to get to the uh, to get to the underwater uh, complex, and she got she got hit by it. So so this this area has no quests for us. So killing everyone was just the. Uh, the appropriate decision, so we're just going to stick with it, and uh, and we're going to move on as we have we have many more things to do, many more things to do today, and uh, no one out here is any the wiser, but I have my sights set on this ship here, and beyond it the Counting House dock as our as our first uh, our first major stop. So without further ado, let's uh, do we have. That's the wrong button. C does not open character. Let us let us remember that. So I need I need Featherfall for a moment here. I need Featherfall to show up on my bar. There we go. And let's get let's get everybody down below. Oh, is there? Why is there? Okay, everybody's linked. Come on, come on, everybody. Let's get down here. Good job, team. All right. Can't give up now. Need to find a way forward. Okay, so what, what do we got here? What's the what's the deal? Warning. Plague risk, do not enter. This ship is under strict quarantine until further notice. This seems fine, right? What's the worst that could happen? I guess what happened to these guys is the worst that could happen. Dead. Let's see. Oh, missed, missed one over here, so we'll go grab this really quickly. I have failed a constitution saving throw. What, uh, it doesn't tell me of what, though. I have no, I appear to have no effect. All right, let's, let's check this out. We have I told Jorkins. For the rest of my life. Open up. Everything seems fine. The lustrous lass. And then we have Jorkins, and uh, Jorkins has my own deal. All right, so let's see. So let's let's see what's going on with this. I told Jorkins. Jorkins, I said the captain should never have dropped anchor at Crone Island. All right, Jorkins don't look so good neither, but at least he stopped laughing at me. Okay, so some type of contagion. Made the deal with the Gloom Crone. It's the happiest I've been. Uh, or the happiest I've ever known. Enough gold to last the rest of your life, she promised. And every day I've hefted those heavy clinking bags. Ah. The every stream is a reading stream to a certain extent. The Lustrous Last. When uh, Fist Manip said he wanted to check out the Lustrous Last, I didn't realize that a ship's name and all. Uh, the ship's name and almost said something regrettable. Well, when he said the vessel was under quarantine after drifting into the harbor with the dead crew, I realized it matter had a task for me. The crew were dead indeed. Okay, so he died too. And then uh, ridiculous old Disby and his portents of doom. All right, so this this was extremely cursed to this ship. But let's uh. 
Well, the chest is unlocked. That's a good sign. Oh, hello. Yeah, we're gonna. We got. We got a whole list of things. We got. Uh, we got the docks. We we have to go back and pick up the strange apple that we left on the floor. We need. We're gonna do the forge. Uh, then we we need to keep tracking down Minsk. We uh we need a long rest. We're kind of holding off on that. And I think we also need to talk to the guild. But right now, we have a cursed imp to deal with. Has a lot of hit points, 124 HP. Uh, is alert, dark vision, devil sight, mortal reminder, opportunity, and threatened and caustic retort. Whenever you take damage, reflect it back to your attacker threefold as acid damage. Yes, that's definitely happening next in Lustrous. Um, so this seems bad. Caustic retort seems seems unpleasant. Um, what if we just threw it overboard? <laughs> Is that a terrible idea? 75% chance? Oh, can't throw it that far? How far can you throw it? Oh, uh, you can't throw it very far. Oh, wait, hold on. We got a spot right there. This says death for the imp. I believe we failed our throw. Looks like we can try again. Okay. That'll do. That'll do. I, I'm i always worried about uh, about losing loot that way, but I, uh, I think that's a, I think that was a reasonable solution to a unreasonable problem. And we'll just consolidate that like that. I was hit for 300 and something. Ugh. There better be a soft bedroll in my near future. Oh, Asterion still took 39 damage from that. How odd. Yeah, I mean, that was very embarrassing for it. But let's see. Oh, the Cursed Imp is still down there. Hold on. Now now we need to now we need to see if we can use telekinesis to pick the cursed imp back up. Thus completing the cycle. That should work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so so it did three damage and then it did thirty nine. I think the three was from the first throw. Uh, and then the, the thirty nine was from the rest. But now we get to see. All right, it had no goodies on it, unfortunately. Uh, but we did get a bunch of fish. So, I'll, I'll count that as a as a success. I think that worked out nicely. If not over, the, loot, the loot was the acid we got along the way, I think. So, now, now on to my, my great caper. So we have a whole, there's a whole bunch of chests over here that are just too tempting to ignore, right? We need to, we need to get all the loot. Thank you. So I think the plan is this. I think we're gonna, we're gonna split up the group. Asterion, you, you need some good berries before we, before we go any further. Cause we're gonna be putting Asterion in mortal danger as is tradition. I mean, you can't you can't leave them behind, right? I will say, like for for all of the over preparation comments I get f about the uh, about my my summoning of the good berries, I end up using most of them. Let's see. All all the rotten food we can possibly afford. So here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, Shadowheart is not part of this plan, so she's going to go to camp. This is just to make our 
uh, our turns a little speedier. Lazel, similarly, not going to be part of the plan. But our remaining two folks here, they have uh, they have a lot to do. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put Corvid, the Corvid token. Oh, hold on. I don't want to be too close to this. I think this guy has like a surprising view range. Ooh, okay. All right. So let's see. So the Corvid token is going to become our necklace. This extends our flight range. Then the other thing that I wanted to get is off of Lazel. Lazel has a plus three movement ring. So we're going to make our our boy Asterian the have all the schmoves. So he's got an insane amount of movement. Let's move. Now what we're going to do is we are going to we're going to on our bard get ourselves some greater invisibility. And the cool thing about greater invisibility is, is it doesn't break on action, which means we're going to be able to loot uh, yes, I do have the runic powder from Wilburn. Yes, Sam. So we're going to be able to loot the corpses and do all, or loot the chests and do all the things. So what we're going to do is we are going to enter turn base mode. And then we are going to hatch our plan. So you are going to drink a potion of flying. Right? Yeah, this is a Starian. But I think first we want to cast Greater Invisibility, which we have over here. I really hope that this doesn't break our Greater Invisibility. Okay, it does not. And now, now we fly, friends. How much... Where, how much further does our movement get us? All right, about to here. But we will then dash. Which will get us over to, hopefully, our first chest. In a long list of chests. Okay, and, and then we, we don't have the bonus action right now to do that. So, first turn, pretty successful. Oh, shovel. You're ruining, you're ruining my two-turn order here. I probably should have, you're right. Hey, thank you, Alex. Okay, and then as we get stuff, we send it to camp, and then we move on to the next, which in this case, we'll fly to here, so we can check that, and then this is locked, so we won't be able to get either of these on the same turn, but we can get the, we can get the barrels on this turn, I think. How heavy is this thing? Maybe we should just... Okay, so that does do a stealth check. So we should be a little a little careful about... about that. But I don't mind doing it a little bit. Let's see, we still have... we still have a primary dash. And that'll get us down to this one to grab next. So many of these are locked. All right, so that's turn. That's our second turn down. I, sneaking and stealing feels like an important part of a healthy ecosystem. All right, let's see. So we will lockpick. pick. 
So far, I'm feeling like the loot here is worth the uh, worth the price of admission. Ooh, I almost missed this chest. Okay, I don't think I'm going to steal that one. I think we're going to... Well, how much movement? We have a ton of movement right now. Ah, we'll get this one when we go over there. So let's just... Let's just check these boxes. Okay, and then we'll wait here for this one. A law-abiding citizen playthrough? Oh, it's a, it's a good question, Sam. I, I think definitely I, I'm i going to be doing like a, a Dirge-style playthrough. So I think uh, Mintharo will definitely be among the gang. Are you serious right now? We just rolled a one and a two. Wow. All right, try again. That was truly horrible. Yeah, Oathbreaker Paladin will be part of the part of the equation. Are we about to fail again? On a 25? Can I? Okay, thank you. Thank you for rolling not terribly. Diamonds? Don't mind if I do. Yeah, so far this is this is feeling pretty lucrative. Let's see. We have we have 7 turns left. So Yeah, so so if, I, if I'm doing a dirge playthrough, I think stealing is maybe we maybe we do a law-abiding dark urge. How's it going, buddy? A crooked touch. That's a that's a nice payday right there. We got ourselves a diamond, some cash. Okay, let's see. That's locked. That's locked. The metal chests aren't locked, so we could go get them, and the storage isn't locked. Oh, and that gilded chest isn't locked. All right. So maybe we go... Maybe we start by flying up here. We have an insane amount of movement. You don't... You don't make money by leaving stuff around, right? Also, what was our last stealth check? I wanted to check this. We rolled a 36 on a skill check 20. So unless we get some truly awful rolls, we're probably okay, but we should probably be a little careful. Okay, there's nothing there. We can grab, we can't grab this. All right, so that's, well, we can if we do a cunning dash right now. Does that mean I can... Oh, I can't do a lockpick right now. Okay, we're... I think we're good then. Because we'll get this one on the... On the... On the other side. The evil playthrough that I wanted to get... Uh, you wanted to get Shadowheart, make her evil, Dark Justicier. Let Asterion ascend and then get Minthara. Yeah, that's a pretty cool... That's a pretty cool concept. How for skeleton king. Elixir of Cloud Giant Strength. That's uh, that's worth the price of admission. Ooh, do we want the Cabin in Motion poster? That's a pretty nice poster. Look at how big it is. Look how big that painting is. And we can put it perpendicularly on our wall. Just imagine. Every time, every time I succeed a, still, a skill check, I'm like, oh boy. I mean, there is no better, there's no better painting than, uh, than that one, I feel like. Let's see, lockpick this. That'll do. I mean, that's, that's the goal here. 
Okay, we got some alchemy supplies, some more goodies. There, there are a lot of people. Oh, this person is coming to investigate. I should probably get a bit of distance here. Just in case they do detect presence over there. We haven't done this chest yet, though. So I'll just, I'll just wait here. We have four turns left, so we need to be mindful of that to make sure that we make it out. The ballists. Oh, yeah. A black diamond. Okay, so we still have... We have three turns left, and what do we have left to do on our way out? We got this chest. We got this chest and this chest. Do we think... We're getting we're getting a little tough to get all of the all the chests. I could potentially pick one up. Maybe I maybe I pick some of those up on the way. I'm very curious about this heavy chest. But we're we're running out of time. Because we got this chest, this chest, and this chest on our way over to here. Okay. So let's see. We can save a little bit. I'm a little worried about this person doing detect presence, so I really don't want to hop over there. We're officially out of range. I'm glad the, the concentration is still working. I could do it in two, but I want to get onto the foundry. Does an 8 get us to a 20? I think it does. I'm glad I didn't miss that one. Okay, we'll fly to here. I love I love our little like vampiric flying around. It's uh it's just lovely. Oops. Okay, we'll do that. And then we'll fly to here. We've got two turns left on Greater Invisibility. Oh, by the way, there's a cache here. I I, I checked it out. It's, uh, it's a trap. <laughs> so let's see. So I'm trying to think. We're... We're going to have a hard time with two turns left. I think I'm better stealing this so and stealing that and just... I think we got to dash, grab and dash all the remainders. To be on the safe side. Okay. I think I think we got it. We've done the thing. I have to make sure we're not encumbered though, because if you're encumbered, we lose our stealth check. We are almost oh, are we? We are almost encumbered. So let's see. These two I will send to camp. That gets us down to reasonable levels. We're gonna fly to let's fly to here, I think. Steal this. Been caught lurking around the sword coast most securely <laughs> without permission. The guards are understandably upset. That's not great. Uh let's see. I guess we failed our stealth check. Let me see what I can see here. Uh, so let's see. Failed stealth check. We rolled a 19 on a 20. We With advantage, we rolled a 3. Okay. Well, okay. So Asterion, we need to figure out what we're going to do. The greed is real, but we'll, we'll, we'll find our way out. Um, 
No need for bloodshed. Uh, I didn't know I was looking for a chamber pot. No, we won't save scum. You are permitted to pass with your legs intact. This time. Thank you. I'm sorry. And we still got to keep the chest. All right, mission successful. There we go. Three, four, there we go. Flawless victory. Let's see. So we, where are we going next? Okay, we're going to the City Harbor deck docks next. Asterion did exactly what he needed to do. So I'm not going to complain. Round two, there's nothing left. We got absolutely everything. The only thing we have to do now is come to the camp and uh, collect our, our goods. I pushed it a little bit with picking those up. We did, we probably didn't need to, but that was a pretty, that was a pretty solid, uh, no, there weren't two more chests. I'll, I'll go back and double check that, but I, I was pretty thorough, I think. I, I really, I haven't gotten that far, Sam, so I don't know what I'm gonna do, but, uh, but we'll, uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Let's see. Send to camp. Open. Send to camp. And then these are materials. So they will go to Shadowheart. Bingo. All right. Not bad. Not bad for a, for a little early morning pilfering. Okay. So I want to I see about these two chests that, that Alex thinks he sees. Okay. So we got these two here. We did miss this chest here, I'm realizing. That that would be a chest that we missed. On the, on the other end? So there's this one here. I don't see another one. The other end is very non-precise. Left? I don't see, I don't see another one to the left. We got this one. And then that's it. And I think we're going to let this one go. Top. That's not a chest. That's just a box. One one chest will not uh will not break our uh, break our bank I don't think. Okay, let's see. Let's go to camp. And then we'll get we'll get everybody linked back up. Box that was near the last chest. Yeah, we're not going to worry about the box. I think this was uh this was a perfect pilfering. Oh, we have to talk to Volo. Let's talk to Volo. Yeah, like chests, chests have some value there. I don't think there's going to be anything in that box. It is splendid to see you again, my friend. I will pet if the dog you also. If you saved me from that mob, I'd be penning a guide to the afterlife based on first-hand experience. Perhaps you would oh, hazard Volo. a guess as to why the mob turned on me? Let's see. First of all, let's check to see what he's selling. Nothing remarkable, that's for sure. I want to read that. We'll buy all his books just in case there's any interesting details in there, but let's see. So why was the mob why did the mob turn on you? Or in the red controls a syndicate of killers, perhaps you pissed her off. You criticized Archduke Gortash. You speak against the Absolute. They have eyes everywhere. 
I'm going to go with Orin the Red controls a syndicate of killers. Quite right. But it is not Orin herself who has marked me for death. It is her dread master. The Lord oh. of Murder has returned. Oh. As he did a hundred years ago, Baal has set his accursed sights on Baldur's Gate. And his temple runs red with the blood of the innocent. Orin is his chosen. And like Saravok before her, she is able to take on the savage form of the Slayer. If the Slayer is not stopped, it will slaughter every living thing in this city. As one of those things, I'm particularly eager to stop it. And there is a way. I have a study of the beast, penned by the wizard Irenicus himself. Interesting. It contains all of the knowledge needed to slay the Slayer. Now I just need a brave adventurer, willing to face Baal's chosen. That sounds like me. And to put the knowledge into practice. Uh, I'll do it. Wonderful. I can scarcely think of anyone more suitable. It will serve you well. A study of the Slayer penned by John Irenicus. It's one of a kind, so do try to keep it away from the inevitable bloodbath. Hmm? I'll do my best. Let's see. Tell me about Irenicus. I'm curious. A genius. Exiled from his home in the elven paradise of Soldanesala, when he attempted to seize the power of life itself, he instead turned his magnificent mind to murder on a grand scale. That is how he came to crave the power of the Baal Spawn. He saw them not as living things, but as tools for his own machinations. Interesting. In the end, though Irenicus took the form of the Slayer for himself, it was a Baal spawn who thwarted him. The same that saved Baldur's Gate. Wait, a Baal spawn saved Baldur's Gate? Let's see. Uh, what's that? What is a Slayer? A dream eater. Oh, thank you. Said the children of Baal are claimed throughout their sleep. Ever disturbed? by visions of a life of bloodshed and terror. Once they have seen too much, once these dreams drive their minds to break, they are beset by the Slayer. It is a beast of unspeakable violence that consumes all in its path, including the soul of the one who is host to it. Got it. Sounds unpleasant. All right. This is a daunting task. I should start begin my preparations. I am a living witness to Baal's defeat those hundred years ago. How old so is Volo? I know your battle against him is not futile. He can be stopped. But not all of those who stood against him survived. And those who did were never the same again. I wish you luck, my friend. And I hope that when I see you again, you'll be in one piece. Uh, two or three at most. Okay, we got a book about the Slayer. Let's read all his things. Let's see. Ah, I've been a great fan of your work for many years. Most notably, your theories on the ball spawn and the Slayer form. In fact, I recently unearthed some information that I believe you'll find most fascinating. Let us meet at the docks to confer. One scholar to another. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. That's how he got captured by the mob. Got it. Let's see. This book appears to be barely legible notes, a work heavily in progress. Ghost Banshee Poltergeist Spooky. One mungful ice, half mungful distilled potato spirits, three thimbles citrus juice, garnish with mint. I think it is a drink recipe. All right. Let's see. This one, this one's a, a pretty normal one, I think. Origins of the Zentarum. Some good lore there. Even though this child of Baal da, 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 seems that manifests in moments of pure hatred, perhaps it continues its regime of absorbing divine essence. Uh, book continues with detailed record of Irenicus's experimental attempts to transform into the Slayer. All right, impressively, none of those books actually gave us any useful information or uh, journal entries, but that's fine. Okay, so I think we are we're now done here. Which means let's leave camp. I think I left Shadowheart and Lazel 
over on the boat, the cursed boat. So we'll fast travel them here. And now it's foundry o'clock. Oh, really? Twitch just let you know that this stream is not for children? That's, uh, that's kind of them, I guess. Thanks, Twitch. Steel Watch Foundry. Entry prohibited by order of Lord Gortash. Hey, Artie. Sorry I missed you earlier. Wait, where did your message go, in fact? Hold on. Did I just completely... You were way at the beginning of stream, and I just totally missed you. I'm sorry. Interesting. 